Namaste everyone and welcome to the learning series of English. Today we are going to discuss transformations. Transformations refers to the changing of sentences into different structures like uh, assertive, uh, positive, negative, uh, SNO questions, WH questions, etc. And this is a grammar course basically designed for the C students, but it is equally important to all the class and all the level students. So before we start the transformation, let's <coughs> learn the types of sentences. Uh, types of sentences are assertive sentences, assertive sentences are of two types, affirmative and negative. And then, for example, we can talk about the example like uh, mango, I like mangoes, I don't like mangoes. Uh, next is interrogative sentences. They are of two types, yes no questions and ws questions. Interrogative means question sentences. For example, do you like mangoes? That is yes no type questions. What do you like? That is ws question. Then imperative sentences, for example, eat these mangoes, right? Next is optative sentences. For example, may you have all your wishes come true. Exclamatory sentences. Wow, what a beautiful dress. Uh, basically, sentence are, sentences are of uh, four types. One, two, three, four. This is uh, extra, but we can also consider it as one of the another important types of sentences. So, um, the purpose of knowing these sentences is that, okay, Either you have to make the assertive sentences, or you have to make interrogative sentences, or you have to make imperative sentences, or you have to make optative sentences. Basically, these are not asked. So, okay, these one to three types of sentences are to be changed from one to another. So, let's see the general rules for making uh, negatives and questions. Okay. Uh, let's let's start with the, some of the sentences. She studies grammar. She is studying grammar. She has studied grammar. She has been studying grammar. This is a, let me start uh, generally with the present tense. Okay, present tense has four branches: present simple, present continuous, present perfect, and present perfect continuous. So, okay. Basically, sentences are okay like this. Now, uh, in these sentences, simply she studies grammar. It changes into negative. She does not study grammar. And the question is, does she study grammar? This is ask no question. And if you add just wh question, what does she study? Okay. If you want to ask the answer for grammar, what does she study? We are doing here yes no question types only. She is studying grammar. She is not studying grammar. Is she studying grammar? She has studied grammar. She has not studied grammar. She ha has she studied grammar? Or she has been studying grammar. She has not been studying grammar. So look at the difference. Here is, has, has. They are all auxiliary verbs. Okay. So after auxiliary verb, if you just add not. So adding not after auxiliary verb makes the negative very simple and just bring the auxiliary verb at the front it is auxiliary verb here bring it at the front and has a bring at the front and it makes the um, yes no questions very simple and just add ws before then it becomes the ws questions now let's see other sentences uh, she has studied grammar. She did not study grammar. Did she study grammar? She was studying grammar. She was not studying grammar. Was she studying grammar? She had studied grammar. She had not studied grammar. Had she studied grammar? She had been studying grammar. She had not been studying grammar. This is past, past type of sentences. Four types, okay? Four different parts of the uh, past sentences, right? So here is was, had, these are the actually verbs now next one is she will study grammar she won't study grammar will she study grammar she will be studying grammar she won't be studying grammar will she be studying grammar 
then C will have a studied grammar, C won't have studied grammar, will C have a studied grammar, C will have been studying grammar, C won't have been studying grammar, so will C have been studying grammar? All right, now, so look, look at this one. The, all the sentences, okay, uh, when you mm, consider the tense, okay, all the tenses, out of 12 tenses, mm, 4, 4, 4, 12 sentences, our, out of 12 tenses, all of them have auxiliary verbs. Therefore, just add not after the auxiliary verbs, not after the auxiliary verb, okay? But only two of them, this one, this is present simple tense and this is past simple tense, two of them do not have the auxiliary verb. So now when they do not have auxiliary verbs, the auxiliary verb with them is do, does or did. So studies is does verb, therefore you just bring does and not, okay, does not. And studied is did verb and just bring not after did and it becomes negative. So it is also useful in the tag also, okay. C studies grammar doesn't see because it is does verb. So you have to make, you should change the negative and just bring uh, that, uh, use that word to make tag also, right. So in this way, uh, this is a very general rule that you have to understand. So auxiliary verbs are important and auxiliary verbs just add not after the auxiliary verbs and just bring at the front to the auxiliary verbs and uh, you can make the negative and questions and look at, you can pause the video more and you can learn about these other sentences too. So let's talk about rule number one. So now generalize the rule. So what the general rule says is sentences with auxiliary verbs use not with auxiliary verbs to make negative. I have told you already. So all the tenses have auxiliary verbs except two of them. I told you already. So auxiliary verbs are is, am, are, was, were, has, have, had, do, does, did, can, could, may, might, shall, should, okay, will, would, ought, dare, need, must, okay. So these are the auxiliary verbs. When these words occur in the sentence, add not to make negative. Simple. She is working in the field. So this is the affirmative sentence. She is not working in the field. Now it's the negative. Similarly, is she working in the field is interrogative. She is working in the field. The interrogative is, is she working in the field? He has written a letter, affirmative. He has not written a letter, just has and not. And has he written a letter interrogative. So this is how you can easily make the auxiliary make the negative and uh, uh, negative and interrogative sentences. So remember these words. Now do does did okay. A sentence is having a main verb takes the auxiliary do, does, or did while changing it into negative and interrogative. I told you, okay? Sentence having a main verb, that means having no auxiliary verb, okay? Past simple tense, she went to market, so affirmative. So went is did verb, therefore she did not go to market is negative. Now. Did she go to market is the interrogative of she went to market. Okay. Remember, uh, students usually make mistake. Did she went? No. When did verb comes there, this this went verb changes into verb one. Okay. So did she go to market? Now note. Okay. Does is singular verb present tense okay it is used do is plural verb it is also into present tense did is singular verb but singular as well as plural and it is used in the past tense so remember does verb do verb or did verb do verbs are for example eat drink play do there is no yes and yes very easy to uh, identify Eat, drink, play is, are they are two verbs. Same thing, does verb, eats, drinks, plays. This becomes the does verb. Whereas, ate, drank, played become the did verb. 
So in this way, you identify like this and change them into negative and interrogative. But if have verb means possession, either not after have or do verb can be used. For example, he has a book, he has not a book, he does not have a book. Now look at this one. He has a book. This has is auxiliary verb, okay? Therefore, as a general rule, you can just add not. So he has not a book, okay? But basically, uh, we say when has uh, works as the main verb because there is no other main verb. Because has comes with the has plus verb 3. He has uh, written a book. Okay, So the word written, he has read a book. Okay? He has published a book. These words are not there. Then it is also a main verb. When it is a main verb, then has means does verb. Therefore, does, does and not, doesn't then has changes into verb one the verb the main form of has is have okay has is also a have verb therefore he does not have a book so uh, therefore he has a book means has he a book interrogative and uh, he does not have a book is does he have a book okay does he uh, ha does he have a book when there is does so this is how uh, when there is only have, when have verb, and there is no uh, no main verb, okay. At that time, you can say has not also, uh, but we can also use does. Has have had plus two plus verb one. At that time, has does have do had did, okay. It is also useful in the tag. Similar case of the tag. She has to take the exam. She does not have to take the exam. She has to, does not have to. Remember, has changes into does not, does for negative not, okay? Then has changes have, does not have to take the exam. That is negative. Does she have to take the exam? Interrogative. Simply, does, does she have to. We are not making negative of this one, okay? You are making, making, okay? Uh, interrogative of this one. Does she have to take the exam? You have to work hard. This means you have verb means do verb. So do not have to work hard. Do you have to work hard? All right. So tag also. He has to take this exam. Therefore, doesn't uh, see because here is a does verb. Okay. So um, you do not have to work hard. Do you have to work hard? For example. Therefore, you have to remember have or have to means do, has or has to means does, had or had to means did. Okay, you have to remember. So, for the imperative sentences, how to make uh, change, how to transform the imperative sentences. So, open the door, make it into negative, don't open the door. Okay, simply uh, open the door means you open the door you is silent here you open the door that means you don't open the door so simply don't open the door so now interrogative is will will you open the door remember with the imperative sentences we use do not plus we do not and will for the interrogative because in the um, tag also open the door will you okay will you we say like that speak aloud don't speak aloud will you speak aloud all right so remember to change the imperatives in such a way so how to change the let verb let him play the guitar simply don't let him play the guitar okay same same structure let him play don't let him play then same thing will you let him play the guitar same structure okay so we'll let him play the guitar. Tack is will you? Therefore, will you is used here. Let them laugh. Don't let them laugh. Okay. Will you let them laugh? Simple. Let's plus verb on now. Let's play means let's not play. Negative. So not with not don't. Okay. 
don't let's play no just very odd okay let's not play just before before the main verb use not okay uh, you just use not after let's let's not play then with the let is sol because in the mm, tag also let's play chess shall we same thing shall we play chess let's try this let's not try this shall we try this so this is how changing native negative sen statements into interrogative sentences okay they did not play the ball did they not play the sorry bill okay? no no sorry they did not pay the bill did they not pay the bill all right so they did not pay did they not or didn't they pay the bill we can go both way if you are starting with did only then did plus subject then not did they not pay the bill but if you are using negative directly then didn't they pay the bill is equally right we do not pay attention do we pay do we not pay attention don't we pay attention all right she doesn't pay salary does she not pay salary does she doesn't she pay salary doesn't she pay salary all right so you have to uh, remember the sentences you have to drill again okay, for certain you have to make the sentences your own that is the best way of learning then verbs such as think believe suppose imagine feel eat etc uh, feel etc are often followed by a clause for example instead of making the verb in the clause negative we normally make the think believe etc negative for example i think you have met my wife no negative is i don't think and you have met my wife is same so we don't change you have met my wife because you have not met my wife we say no simply i think i don't think i believed you were married i didn't believe you were married so i believed didn't believe then they suppose then they didn't suppose okay they suppose uh, not actually they suppose that the earth is getting hotter they they don't suppose okay they don't suppose that the that the earth is getting hotter right so in this way just remember think believe suppose imagine feel sometimes they can be asked so you just remember these four five words okay and you just change them into negative but hope and wish are two ex exceptions for example uh, what we say is uh, i hope it rains we don't say i don't hope okay we say i hope it doesn't rain and, uh, you have to change the second clause okay so it rains it doesn't rain then i wish you would do that then i wish you would not do that we don't say i don't wish i don't hope okay we never say i don't hope we say i don't suppose i don't believe we say but i don't hope i don't wish no i wish you would not do that remember with hope and uh, the in sentences with infinite that is two plus verb one and the gerund verb ing we put not before the infinitive or gerund for example he pretends to see us he pretends not to see us so see us changes in not to see i enjoyed going to the school this is gerund this is to infinitive and this is gerund not i enjoy not going to the school for a few days <coughs> general changes in negative so uh, you have to take care of this very important some every changes into no if it is it in the beginning and somewhere else in the sentence any 
so very changes is not so still any more any longer to to also as well changes into either right similarly just already lately recently eight several any as soon as no sooner than and so and neither and dotted is changes is so dotted is many a lot of enough many a lot of enough changes in much for uncounted and any for plural this is very important okay i will look at the example so examples so someone is coming someone changes into no one so simply no one is coming they ate some apples they they eat some apples they don't eat any apples we told if it is a beginning no if it's somewhere any so they eat some apples they don't eat changes you don't eat okay as a general rule now some changes into any as a specific thing to remember she also plays cars okay she played cars she didn't play cards now for also either so she also played cards means she didn't play cards either nikhil is as clever as priyanka nikhil is not so clever as priyanka so as dotted as means not so okay so therefore nikhil is as clever as priyanka nikhil is not so clever as priyanka as clever as then not so dot dot is i am fine too i am fine i am not fine too either i am fine too i am not fine either they have already finished their work they haven't finished their work they have they have finished their work they haven't finished their work already changed into it remember I have a lot of money. I have not much money. A lot of, okay. I have lot of, lot of things to do. Much, not much, okay. I have a lot of money. I have not much money. He is still living there. He isn't anymore living there. He is still living there. Still means anymore. Still changes into anymore. So. He is still living there. He isn't anymore living there. We can also say uh, he isn't living there anymore. Also, sometimes she has several things to do. She hasn't any things to do. Several changes into any. She has several things to do. She hasn't any things to do. She has recently done this. She hasn't done this yet. So recently also in yet. Okay, already changes into yet also. Recently changes into eight also. She likes it very much. She doesn't like it very much. Okay, so very much changes into so much. She likes it very much. She doesn't like so much. Simple. Some affirmative expressions can be directly changed into negative. For example, always directly changes into never, if, unless. Either or, neither nor, frequently, hardly, rarely, somebody, nobody, uh, only, alone, changes into none, but, something, nothing, all, none, often, usually, sometimes, seldom, anyone, everyone, or no one, none, some of, any of, most of, all of, or none of, okay, some of, any of, most of, all of, changes into none of, okay, some of are present, none of are none of are present sometimes never sometimes changes into never and uh, in interrogative changes into ever the examples only i went there only changes in none okay only i went there none but i went there only none but only I went there, none, but I went there. John usually makes noise in the class, so usually changes into seldom. 
John usually makes noise in the class means John seldom makes noise in the class. Hari frequently visits Ilam. Hari rarely or hardly or scarcely visits Ilam. So frequently means rarely or hardly. He always plays football. He never plays. Always changes into never. Either Sam or Sita knew the answer. Neither Sam nor Sita knew the answer. So either Sam or Sita. Neither Sam nor Sita. Okay. So either or changes into neither nor. Everybody was absent. Nobody was absent. Everybody changes into nobody. He, if he tries, he can't. Sorry, if he tries, he can find it. Unless he tries, he can't find it. Okay, so if he tries in the unless, okay, unless he tries, he can find it. Something is wrong, nothing is wrong. All are fine, none are fine. All, none. I have sometimes watched horror movies. I have never watched horror. Sometimes, never. I have never watched horror movies. Have you ever watched horror movies? So, for example, so sometimes changes into never in negative and ever into interrogative. Therefore, I have sometimes watched horror movies, interrogative is have you ever watched or have I, you can say I also, there is you, have you ever watched horror movies? Okay. So, in this way, uh, if it is uh, the sentence, uh, this sentence, then they will ask you to change it into affirmative or change it into positive. Okay. If it is like this sentence, it change it into positive. So, positive into negative or negative into positive. So, positive sentence into uh, interrogative okay, or interrogative into the statement, statement or positive sentence. This is what you have to remember in transformations. So similarly change into WH questions. Simple WH questions are when, where, who, why, where, whom, whose, okay, which, these are how. Examples are he comes here every day into when question. He comes here every day. When question means every day is your target. Okay. Therefore, when, when, then comes is a dodge verb. So when dodge, then subject he, then comes change into come verb one. When does he come here? Answer is every day. Bimala is getting married soon into who questions. So who. Who means Bimala. So, who is getting married soon? Answer is Bimala. Who question is who? Here is already um, auxiliary verb. Here is no auxiliary verb. Therefore, when there is no auxiliary verb, you have to bring do, does, did. Here is a does. Here is auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verb is used. Who is getting married soon? I bought some books yesterday. What question? Okay. What? Some books, some books is the what question. No, now what question means what then bought is did verb. What did I so bought changes into buy. What did I buy yesterday? Some books. Susma goes to the theater every Friday. Where question? Where question is theater. Okay, where then goes means Dutch. Where does Susma go every day? Some more samples are Barsa comes to see me into whom questions? Okay. Me. Whom question means me. Therefore, whom does Barsa come to see? Me. Whom does Barsa come to see? Okay. So here what you have to remember is uh, just first uh, make up your mind uh, negative, okay? Barsa comes, Barsa doesn't come, doesn't come. So dodge is used. I liked 
the red dress light means did comes here look at this one which dress okay which question red dress is the answer so which dress um, which is did I like I was curious so I went there so why question is uh, so it's asking answer for curious you have to remember which part it is targeting all right and you can't write that thing in the question why is why question and then uh, went means did okay why did I go there okay because I was curi curious I was curious is the answer why did I go there so when your answer is when you are answering and uh, then I I went there okay because I was curious okay uh, why did I go there I went there because I was curious I was curious therefore I went there he went to Sanku on foot how so on foot instance okay so how did he go to Sanku Answer is he went to Sanku and food. So, when is date? So some other uh, examples are someone hit her on her hand. Into yes no questions. Did anyone hit her on her hand on her head? Okay. Did anyone hit? Okay. So yes no questions. So yes no question means someone hit is verb to if it is hits verb one otherwise it's hit 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 we have learnt earlier so did anyone someone changes into and did anyone hit her on her head ram twice a week goes to the church then how how often how often does ram does okay does ram go to the church Nirmala speaks fluently. Yes, no, and WH questions. You make into two. Nirmala speaks fluently. Does Nirmala speak fluently? Does Bob? Okay. Then, how does Nima speak? How does Nima speak? Mona knew the mystery into assertive. Okay. Uh, and positive. Okay. So not assertive into uh, so this is this sentence is okay positive sentence or this is known as uh, assertive sentence okay and the question as yes, no question of Mona knew the mysteries did Mona know the mystery so knew did Mona know knew no because there is did then what did Mona know mystery what did so D is already there, just add what. Okay. In this way we can uh, practice uh, to change into yes no WH questions. Okay. Thank you very much. So, so if you have any queries, please don't hesitate to ask and comment. Put down your queries to ask me in the comment box, okay, of the YouTube column. Now like and share your friends because some of may need this one, some of of some of your friends might need this one and i'll giving other techniques in coming videos stay inside uh, protect yourself from the corona attack but don't forget to feed your mind and thank you so please share comment and subscribe have a nice day